Hello, Apple Mega Sin. Yes, I'm in back and I'm responding to your videos. Um, first video I'm responding to is the GameStop PowerPoint. Um, what I think about the PowerPoint, I think this is the worst idea that GameStop ever had because, you know, this is GameStop, you know, Power 2 players. Yeah, if it's Power 2 players, why they are doing this? Oh, let me explain to you why I think this is a bad idea. Um, first off, these virtual games are the classic of the classic. We are. You and me and everywhere you know we grew up on these games. And now the funny these games nowadays are hard to find too. No in fact I live in New York or live in Brooklyn, I can go to in the city and find these games really cheap, like at least twenty bucks or maybe less than if they I haggle a little bit. You know, no wrong with haggling, you gotta learn that. Um, second part is I don't think the PowerPoints are really responsive because like let me show me you described that on the video. I saw the video twice and um you mentioned I saw the video and saw how much these games are. I mean look at the points. I mean you have to be a die hard fan of GameStop to be there every single day trying to get these points and trying to get these games. I mean, yes, I don't see the I don't see the balance there because you have to spend points to get the game. And the points I see is like uh, Double Dragon. What if we with Double Dragon 2? You think they're gonna like? Oh, it's gonna be that much points? No, it's gonna be like at least probably 400 points just to get 4,000 points just to get Double Dragon 2. Hell, I can get down. I can get the um, Double Dragon 2 less for 20 dollars, and it won't take me more than a half an hour just to do the train ride back here and back here, and that's it. Back here from the city and back here home. That's it. And my second complaint is gonna be the consoles. I mean. The consoles, I mean, the consoles or game system, like we call them back in the days, um, are really rare. You can't find them. That means they gotta refurbish them. They gotta make sure they test it right. They make sure they work right. So if I'm getting the console and the game, what if the game doesn't work? That means I'm I'm stuck with a game and a, and a console that doesn't work. That's kind of like a uh, waste of my points there. I don't know. Um, as you said, you should have a big store, but they big as it is. They don't need another big store. I mean, I don't feel like they should have. Go down that route, that route, because I remember back in the early '90s when GameStop was still in its peak. Um, I walk in there, I see a lot of PS2 titles. PS2, um, P, no, PS2. Uh, I won't say PS2. My bad. Sorry, PS2. Like I had to had a brain freeze. PS1 games, and they was really really cheap. Sometimes I find them to like ten dollars, and they say, "Hey, you want this game?" They didn't throw it at me. Ten dollars. That was that was a mix. Of, and, and balance the game of GameStop at the early 90s, you know. But nowadays, you walk into GameStop, what do you see? Wii, uh, the PS2, Xbox, not really not Xbox 360, not really the old school game. Hell, even the Xbox game, I don't see it anymore because they pushed that to the side for, for the Xbox 360 games. And so you don't see that many virtual games in there. That's why I like, I like to say, nowadays, you can go not more... When I work at... Let me explain this in the, in the, in the detail. I work not far from... Where I is a GameStop, like at least a hundred feet from where I work at, and when I'm at home, it's another couple of like twenty minute walk when another GameStop. Nowadays, you just see GameStop everywhere. They don't sell any retro games, and now they come back saying, "Hey, hey, you guys, you guys love retro games. You love your your Donkey Kong, your Legend of Zelda. We're gonna be selling them for for PowerPoints, and that's the problem. As I said earlier, I mean, you have to you have to be a diehard GameStop fan." on PowerPoint every single day just to get these games. And I thought the games that you, um, you show, um, F-Zero, Classic, as I said, a Double Dragon, Kung Fu, um, these games are rare and you can't find them. And sure, you can go to eBay or Craigslist, but you know, as I said, I'm lucky. I live in um, I live in the city, not close, not far from the city. As I said, um, I can, it's, a it's like a half an hour uh, train ride. I can get back home. I can have a full functioning console console and a good game that actually works and be happy with it. I don't have to spend points at the point at the point just to get these games. No, no one should go on, go on down that line. GameStop should have gone down that line. So, what I feel like GameStop should do, stop it. Just stop it. If I want the retro game, I'll get the retro game, but I don't need to be there every single day. As I say, and once again, every single day to go to GameStop, collect my points, see how much I have, and hope and pray they still have it. And hope and pray, in fact, Let's just say the game doesn't work. I mean, you're, you're, you're um, shit out of luck because that game doesn't work because, hey, guess what? They didn't get a chance to test it out. So, yeah, that's that's my reasons right now. Maybe I'm just ranting. Maybe you should just put a rant. I can respond fast to that. But, you know, I didn't see the rant on the on the, on the title, so I'm just like, oh, maybe you just casually just saying, you know, heads up, game stop doing this. So, thank you for Alpha Mega Sense. Thank you for telling us the heads up on something like this because I wouldn't know because I'm watching the videos.
So what I think, so to, to the end of this video, with my personal thought, um, I don't know. This is like the worst idea GameStop have. I mean, they big, they big as it is. They don't need to bring something like this. I mean, if I once again want the retro game, I just head out, get the console, get the game, get the controller, and I'm good. And only have to save me about let's say a hundred bucks, hundred bucks for all of them, or maybe hundred and what was it, hundred, maybe hundred and fifty. You know, just for, if it's a good title like Double Dragon Two. Classic. So just to head it off, just to lead this off. Eh, who knows? Maybe it might be good. Maybe it might be bad. I don't know. But if they do it right, they do it right. If they do it wrong, you know, GameStop did it wrong again. So you might see me again in about a couple of seconds because I'm gonna stop off your next video soon. So you keep on gaming, Apple Megasin, and I'll keep on playing later.